<laughs> That's a good rip. Wow. I am so excited for this week's ripple cake. It will be making a rib cake for Project Barbecue in Johnson City. And to start out, I'm going to go ahead and make individual ribs out of modeling chocolate. So I'm just going to roll out some modeling chocolate into a coil and then flatten that out and smooth it down so it's more of a rib like shape. This is going to be really cool because I'm going to be able to add this to the inside of the cake. And I'm hoping it's going to add a little bit of extra texture like a rib would have. So I'm just going to trim that down to get a desired length and I'm going to go ahead and make a few of these because we're going to be making a double slab of rib. So it's going to be a full rack. I'm going to go in with a little wire brush and add some texture and then add this little indention where the bone marrow of sorts would be for the rib. It's going to be really realistic once we get this all painted. Next step, we're going to start carving down our cake. So I've halved a thin slice of vanilla cake. And using some blue vanilla buttercream, I'm going to fill that. And then I can go in and start adding those ribs. Now this is going to be really neat. And I'm already loving how this is looking. So I'm going to add six ribs to each half rack. And so it will be a total of 12 ribs rib bones that needed. So I'm going to add that second layer of vanilla cake onto that and then just give this all a thin icing of blue buttercream and this is going to be ready to go. Give that a chill and then we'll flip it over and give the bottom side a layer of blue buttercream as well. Once we've got this all coated give it a chill into the fridge and we can move on and give that one final smoothing. I just want to get this really nice and smooth and shaped out exactly like a half rack of ribs would be. Then we can go in with some modeling chocolate in just a little bit and make it and add all that texture and, and detail. It's going to be really nice. While this rib cake is chilling in the refrigerator, we're going to start by making our tray that this will sit on. We're going to brush a little cornstarch onto a half sheet pan, and then we're going to cover that with some light gray modeling chocolate that we will paint silver in just a little while once it firms up. So we're just going to work this into all of the corners. And then we're going to go in with an X-Acto knife and trim this down. We just want this to be really clean and sharp edges so it's going to look just like a sheet pan once we're all finished. Now that we have that chilling in the refrigerator we can pull out that rib cake and give it a thin layer of very light gray modeling chocolate. So I'm going with the light gray modeling chocolate because it's going to leave a really nice base for when we go in and start painting on it. So just going to work this into all of the grooves trim it down. I don't have to do too much detail here because I'm going to go in with some extra modeling chocolate in just a little bit and get it all detailed out. Once we have all this trimmed down we're just going to work that in with a sculpting tool around all of those bones exposing them and making sure it's not cover those up. Get them smoothed out. This is also the process where we will start adding our detail and so each individual rib we will add some detail in between them as well as some scoring just to add that extra detail and then rolling out some extra modeling chocolate we will smooth that out to add extra like meaty portions of the rib really loved how this turned out before it was ever painted but now is the fun part we get to paint this and so i'm going in with some food coloring that i have diluted with some vodka just so that evaporates and leaves a nice 
little coat for our ribs. And so I'm using some browns and some oranges and reds. Also a little touch of green just to help mute that down. And just going to paint over the ribs, get them nice and coated. And then later we will come in and add some delicious barbecue sauce. It is not barbecue sauce. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a little bit. So once we get all of this on here, we can start to see it come to life. And I'm really excited about this. I'm just picturing what this is going to look like over at Project Barbecue. I'm really hoping that they they love this. It's all, all going to be a surprise to them. And so Now that we have that meat portion painted with a base coat, we're going to go in and add a little darker areas as well as paint these bones. So we're just going to use a little bit of gray and a little bit of yellow and just add a very light coat to these bones so they look a little more realistic and a little more lifelike, like a rib cake would. Now that we have this with all the base coat that we need, let's go ahead and paint that sheet pan to be silver. So we're just using a metallic paint diluted with some more vodka so it evaporates. And then we'll just paint that silver and then we're going to add an edible sheet of wafer paper that's printed with this red and white checker pattern which is going to be perfect for holding our ribs and so we're just going to place that on there and now we can add some of that delicious barbecue sauce so what we've done here is use a little bit of raspberry cake filling that we have made and we've strained that and then added some white food coloring as well as a little bit of orange and brown and a little more red just to give it the perfect barbecue sauce consistency and so this is where this really became a realistic rib cake and we were so excited about it and we can't wait to take it over there. So here we are at Project Barbecue in Johnson City. We're going to have a little rib cake. Take a look at this. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> That's a good rib. Wow. It's more than... What'd you put in the middle of this? So it's got modeling chocolate throughout the middle as well. So I actually made individual rib bones and they built the cake around it so that it would have... It has that. a different texture. Yeah, right. like when you bite the rib, you need to try this bone. Dad, did you get one? This is a meaty <laughs> rib right here. Get on camera. Get on camera right here. Cheers. Cheers. Medium rib. That's crazy. Good job, you guys. Thank well you. Done. Yeah, appreciate it. Do you have a suggestion of what our next replicate it should be? 
If so, email us at cake.buzz at yahoo.com with the subject line, Replicate This. We can't wait to hear your suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe.